Space Shuttle Discovery Orbiter Vehicle Designation, OV-103 is one of the orbiters from NASA's Space Shuttle program and the third of five fully operational orbiters to be built. Its first mission, STS-41D, flew from August 30 to September 5, 1984. Over 27 years of service it launched and landed 39 times, gathering more spaceflights than any other spacecraft to date. The shuttle has three main components, the orbiter, a central fuel tank, and two rocket boosters. Nearly 25,000 heat-resistant tiles cover the orbiter to protect it from high temperatures on re-entry. Discovery became the third operational orbiter to enter service, preceded by Columbia and Challenger. It embarked on its last mission, STS-133, on February 24, 2011 and touched down for the final time at Kennedy Space Center on March 9, having spent a cumulative total of almost a full year in space. Discovery performed both research and International Space Station ISS assembly missions. It also carried the Hubble Space Telescope into orbit. Discovery was the first operational shuttle to be retired, followed by Endeavour and then Atlantis. Topic: History. The name Discovery was chosen to carry on a tradition based on ships of exploration, primarily HMS Discovery, one of the ships commanded by Captain James Cook during his third and final major voyage from 1776 to 1779, and Henry Hudson's Discovery, which was used in 1610 to 1611 to explore Hudson Bay and search for a northwest passage. Other ships bearing the name have included HMS Discovery of the 1875–1876 British Arctic Expedition to the North Pole and RRS Discovery, which led the 1901–1904 Discovery Expedition to Antarctica. Discovery launched the Hubble Space Telescope and conducted the second and third Hubble service missions. It also launched the Ulysses probe and three TDRS satellites. Twice Discovery was chosen as the return to flight. Orbiter, first in 1988 after the loss of Challenger in 1986, and then again for the twin, return to flight, missions in July 2005 and July 2006 after the Columbia disaster in 2003. Project Mercury astronaut John Glenn, who was 77 at the time, flew with Discovery on STS-95 in 1998, making him the oldest person to go into space, had plans to launch United States Department of Defense payloads from Vandenberg Air Force Base gone ahead, Discovery would have become the dedicated U.S. Air Force shuttle. Its first West Coast mission, STS-62A, was scheduled for 1986, but canceled in the aftermath of Challenger. Discovery was retired after completing its final mission, STS-133 on March 9, 2011. The spacecraft is now on display in Virginia at the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center, an annex of the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum. <laughs> Construction milestones Topic. Upgrades and features Discovery weighed roughly 3,600 kg less than Columbia when it was brought into service due to optimizations determined during the construction and testing of Enterprise, Columbia and Challenger. Discovery weighs 6 pounds kilograms heavier than Atlantis and 363 pounds 165 kilograms heavier than Endeavour. Part of the Discovery weight optimizations included the greater use of quilted AFRSI blankets rather than the white LRSI tiles on the fuselage, and the use of graphite epoxy instead of aluminum for the payload bay doors and some of the wing spars and beams. Upon its delivery to the Kennedy Space Center in 1983, Discovery was modified alongside Challenger to accommodate the liquid fueled. Centaur G booster, which had been planned for use beginning in 1986 but was cancelled in the wake of the Challenger disaster. Beginning in late 1995, the orbiter underwent a nine month orbiter maintenance down period OMDP in Palmdale, California. This included outfitting the vehicle with a fifth set of cryogenic tanks and an external airlock to support missions to the International Space Station. As with all the orbiters, it could be attached to the top of specialized aircraft and did so in June 1996 when it returned to the Kennedy Space Center, and later in April 2012 when sent to the Udvar Hazy Center, riding piggyback on a modified Boeing 747. After STS 105, Discovery became the first of the orbiter fleet to undergo orbiter major modification OMM period at the Kennedy Space Center. Work began in September 2002 to prepare the vehicle for return to flight. 
The work included scheduled upgrades and additional safety modifications. Topic: <laughs> Decommissioning and display. Discovery was decommissioned on March 9, 2011. NASA offered Discovery to the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum for public display and preservation after a month-long decontamination process as part of the National Collection. Discovery replaced Enterprise in the Smithsonian's display at the Stephen F. Udvar Hazy Center in Virginia. Discovery was transported to Washington Dulles International Airport on April 17, 2012, and was transferred to the Udvar Hazy on April 19, where a welcome ceremony was held. Afterwards, at around 5:30 p.m., Discovery was rolled to its final wheel stop in the Udvar Hazy Center. Topic. Flights By its last mission, Discovery had flown 149 million miles million kilometers in 39 missions, completed 5,830 orbits, and spent 365 days in orbit over 27 years. Discovery flew more flights than any other orbiter shuttle, including four in 1985 alone. Discovery flew all three. Return to flight. Missions after the Challenger and Columbia disasters, STS-26 in 1988, STS-114 in 2005, and STS-121 in 2006. Discovery flew the anti-penultimate mission of the Space Shuttle program, STS-133, having launched on February 24, 2011. Endeavour flew STS-134 and Atlantis performed STS-135, NASA's last Space Shuttle mission. On February 24, 2011, Space Shuttle Discovery launched from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A to begin its final orbital flight. <laughs> <laughs> Flights listing Longest shuttle mission for Discovery, shortest shuttle mission for Discovery <laughs> <laughs> Mission and tribute insignias Topic. Flow directors The flow director was responsible for the overall preparation of the shuttle for launch and processing it after landing, and remained permanently assigned to head the spacecraft's ground crew while the astronaut flight crews changed for every mission. Each shuttle's flow director was supported by a vehicle manager for the same spacecraft. Space Shuttle Discovery's flow directors were Until 01, 1991, John J. Tip. Talone Jr. afterwards flow director for Endeavour 01, 1991 09, 1992, John C. Chris Ferry 09, 1992 10 1996, David A. King 10 1996 05, 2000, W. Scott Chilento 12 2003, 2011, Stephanie S. Stilson Topic Gallery Topic See also List of human space flights List of space shuttle crews List of space shuttle missions Timeline of space shuttle missions <laughs>